Today I'm working on a business card holder with the pen holder as well. And um, as I was using the one that I printed at first, I uh, took out a pencil and I realized the pencil uh, has this very pointy uh, uh, pieces of lead at the end when you sharpen it. And I thought, well, it would be a good idea if I had uh, a little hole for the tip to go into and um, as you can see I already have the holes here for the pen pencils whatever um, you want to use it for but um, this video is basically on showing you how to make a uh, concave uh, what do you call it a hole I guess um, so let me start here at the smallest hole. I already measured some pens and you know some larger sharpies so that I can fit some on there. Um, so I'm just going to start by making a two millimeter uh, diameter hole <coughs> on each one. I want to keep it all the same because um, I may not use a pencil on all of them or something without a cap but I just like to add it anyways just for the fun of it or at least for the purpose of um, making the changes on all the holes here so let's go ahead and pull each hole and just to show you that there isn't anything on the bottom here let me uh, show you let me show you here <coughs> there's not nothing at the bottom of each of the holes right there as you can see so we're gonna go ahead and make those right now and I already measured it and I have about uh, three millimeter spacing between the bottom of the hole and the uh, bottom of the uh, the uh, hole piece here so I'm gonna go ahead and select each one click on pull And the reason I'm doing that is because I can do all of them at the same time. And I can go here just so that I can see the holes. And just pull them down to uh, 1.5, which is halfway before I hit the bottom there. Um, I don't want to make it too long, but if worse comes to worse, I can always raise the, uh, the bottom of the hole up a little bit so that gives me a, a taller or, or deeper hole there uh, for the tip of the pen or pencil whatever the case may be so as you can see let me go and select before I end up changing this again so now we have a 1.5 millimeter deep hole right in the middle here so let's go ahead and um, check that again and as you can see now we made where I just made the holes there but they're square or round I guess uh, here you can see the sharp edges but it would be round obviously so now we want to uh, taper that it's sort of a I guess an upside down cone into the part here since it'll be for a pen so let's go ahead and do that and the way the cone is made in something like this it's by uh, Selecting the edge you want to move. And um, I almost forgot. You have to pull it. When you click on the edge, then we have to go to pivot edge. And once you do that, you can't see it here, but I'll move it. And you see how, you see the arrows there? You have I have two arrows. But you have to be careful with this top part here because if I click on here it'll select the actual top of the piece here so I have to kind of uh, change the view here so I can see this better so now I'm looking straight down almost and now if I move it this way you can see there's an up hole, uh, up, hole uh, up arrow and a side arrow there are going towards the middle there 
but again I have to go back to where I can actually select it so in this case it's going to be this way and if I just go far and even if I go all the way out it, you can only go so far 94.94 millimeter that's how far this particular hole will let me will allow me to go so I'll go ahead and deselect that and we'll go ahead and take a look so that you can see the difference and I'll choose the center here and that's the uh, section mode and plan view so it'll be straight and now we can see that we have an actual taper and that's what I want to do for pretty much all of them here um, I can do them all at the same time but I wanted to do one just to show you that so I'll go ahead and do all of them at once and how we do that is by basically selecting pull you really have to be careful with the pull not to actually pull any side on the parts because you will pull it once you select pull on here so select the edge zoom out go to the next one select the edge by pressing control the control key so that uh, they're both selected and now I have to go shift so I can uh, move it with the center button on the mouse press at the same time and then just moving it control select again control select and control select <coughs> so as you can see I just uh, selected all the edges but now I have to go to this one the first one because that's the one that shows me the arrow but as you can see it's not showing me the option yeah, so I'll go select it again I want the uh, pivot and you have to zoom out to see where the arrow is on, on these because uh, it'll change it depending on what you're choosing since I deselected the other one it goes to the next one here but now I can go ahead and pull the correct arrow and I can press the spacebar and just go 0.94 without dragging it and all of them are the same as you can see here so we'll go ahead and take a look and uh, we'll just choose one of the uh, axes on the on one of the holes. Let's go to the uh, section mode, plan view, and voila, we got a nice taper on every hole for each pen. So that's how you do the uh, concave cone, I guess you could call it, uh, or just the uh, hole with the cone. Um, And there we go. Now, every time I put a pen or something that doesn't have a cap, it should uh, have a nice place to sit. And if it's a pencil, hopefully it won't break so easily. But the the whole point of it, it was just to make these, which is kind of nice. And um, of course, once these things are printed, it's a little different. Uh, the holes may be smaller than what you want them. So. Uh, depending on that, it may work or may not, since this is very a very small hole, it's not that big, but I was just doing it just to add uh, an extra feature there, if it works great, if not, well, uh, it is what it is, but there's a very small amount of uh, space here, so I can't really go deeper, what I can do is just, uh, again, I can raise this side up, so that it'll be a, a little deeper, but, you know, it's not a big deal, um, I just want to pretty much show that on the video because um, it took me a little while to uh, get that going since I haven't done that until now um, and well live and learn so I hope this is helpful and let me see if I can stop this